so right guys um, time's ticking on board I've got somewhere where I can actually work now and not be like bothered or interrupted and um, anything blah de blah so it's night time and I thought I'd um, have a little experiment with some paint and get some ideas of um, colours for my Kenworth build now I do want it to be like a candy pink a candy purple so when I do come to spray that I will be using properly made up 2k paints and candy colours and all the barriers and everything and I'll probably end up doing that through a gun I've got access to a compressor and a spray gun and everything so that will probably be done that way but because there's like so many not say rules but so many queries about like spraying on chrome can you or can't you and things like that so I thought we'd have a little experiment with some paints and see what the outcomes is now the paints I've managed to get I'll be using this grey primer which I use that quite regular these days I've never had an issue with other paints but it'll be a gloss black before you put the chrome on always spray chrome onto gloss black if you notice where chrome starts to fade and things like that you'll notice it is actually black underneath um, yep a chrome and candy blue so we'll have an experiment with some candy blue onto chrome and we'll try it on the old roof cap that I cut off the um, grand hauler so these two are actually different branded paints as in the brand but they're actually made in the same factory so technically they are the same brand paint the um, chrome and the candy blue and the grey primer and the gloss black so hopefully we'll get no reaction from the chrome and the gloss black and hopefully that will take to that so I'm going to do it all in one go just leaving maybe 10-15 minutes between coats so it's either going to work or it's not going to work I figured I'll do some experimenting and see what works because some of you guys might want some custom cut colours on your builds and stuff and you might be scared of what works and what doesn't so let's see what we come up with remember always properly shake the cans of paint and I'm not going to be giving it like two or three coats of this and two or three coats of that I'm just going to give it one good coat of each and then we can hopefully get an idea there so one coat of grey primer just get the edges So it doesn't have to be a perfect paint job just need to get the paint on there I've not gone on too everywhere it's not going to dry out this light gives quite a nice bit of heat off so we'll just leave that over there for like I say 10-15 minutes come back to it and then we'll hit it with the gloss black and then we'll just repeat that throughout each stages of the paint and throughout other videos I can come back and fill you in on whether it did react over a week or two so I'll check with you guys shortly so this time I'm going to hit it with a gloss black on top of the prime
again, give that 10 15 minutes. In the meantime, I'll get this can of chrome shook up. We'll come back, blast it with some chrome, and then repeat for the candy blue. So, the gloss black, it has really, really, really made the surface scratches stand out a hell of a lot. So, for the third phase of paint, got the chrome. Oh, shook up. Oh, ho, ho. Alrighty. Have a double with this. Now we'll just watch this for a minute and see if it comes out kind of reflective like the lid. Now it is just a chrome effect, not necessarily a chrome. As I said, we're just testing stuff out. But you can see on the edges, on the corners, but I only give the sides the once. If you noticed, I'd flip this around and give it a twice over, so. Starting to go a little bit mirrory on the sides. I don't know if you can see there. Just picking my finger up in it. Whereas the top isn't yet. So we'll give this 10 minutes or so and then pop some candy blue on there. So there's the chrome and exactly got the um, mirror finish like the lid. But we're just experimenting, just trying a few paints. We ain't going through the proper process and it is just a cheap paint. I suppose for the proper mirrored effect it is just a chrome effect. So for the proper mirrored, I guess you would need to go pro paint with that, i.e. like have it made up in a body shop or paint shop etc. So now we're just going to hit it with a um, candy blue and hopefully we'll get like a nice candy over chrome, adenized type effect maybe. Now with the candy you would build it up to the depth accordingly to how you'd want it to like how much of the background you would want to like show through so try it with this one coat see how it turns out and uh, if we need a little more candy let's go with a bit more now I'm colour blind and that looks more green to me than blue yeah the look I'm wanting personally is going to have to be the mirrored finished in a candy pink or candy purple
So that's after one coat of candy blue. I'll just quickly throw another coat on. Now bear in mind I haven't prepped this or anything. Just plainly doing it just to get an idea of what the colours are going to come out like. So one more coat. Yeah, come back in 20 minutes and then uh, you get an idea of the end result but still I'm getting some good ideas I'm getting some good ideas for um, if you look up here me uh, King Ola body so ideas are good ideas are good so we can always try some other stuff we could get some more candy colours Maybe some different chromes and things like that until we get something really good. So for now I'll uh, leave that for 20 minutes or so and then we'll come back. So do bear in mind that it's not like a prep surface or anything else. Just sprayed, sprayed, sprayed. So I've just scratched a little layer of the candy blue off to reveal the chrome and just scratched at some chrome to the gloss black. So apart from just an ordinary primer, we've gone gloss black, chrome and then the candy blue, two coats of the candy blue and a quick coat of the primer, quick coat of gloss black and a quick coat of the chrome. But as you can see from this it's turned out to be um, quite a nice colour. So I'll find somewhere else and I'm going to repeat this process but instead of using the um, chrome and the gloss black I'll use a metallic silver, a nice bright metallic silver and um, we'll throw the candy over that and see how it looks with a bit more sparkle. Now I would have liked more of a mirrored chromed finish behind it because that is really the look I'm kind of wanting on my Kenworth so I'll try some other chromes and I'll try it with a nice bright silver I'm sure I've got some silver somewhere well anyway I should have some silver nice bright silver come back hit that with some candy and uh, yeah see how it looks but that is basically um, how that's looking so just quickly before I spray this a few days back I sprayed this in a candy and then I scuffed that off to go through and then the next day it just peeled and the chrome peeled now remember the chrome and yep the candy are just cheap paints um, after the third day I really had to dig in to get it to go and now I can rub my fingers over it still picks a bit if it gets caught in the grooves but um I put my nail into there it leaves an imprint so if anyone's considering using that candy paint or that chrome once you've painted it up and everything else just put it all in a box and forget about it for at least a week there's something in it like I say it's cheap paint and it just takes forever to go off so I have no problems with using it myself I'll use it again I'm actually thinking of doing my wraith panels in this colour 
like I say, I'm just going to mess about and practice some things with cheap paints and bits and bats like that. See what works, what doesn't work. But uh, yeah, if you picked up on the brand in the last video, um, and you are using cheap paints, they ain't going to go off as quick as what the normal paints would do. It's been like quite well baked and yeah, it could do with a few more days. But I get the gist with it. Nothing's reacted, so all I'm going to do is I'll strip this down with the graffiti remover so we'll see if the graffiti remover can eat four coats of paint and different paints whereas on this it was just the one paint which had been on for god knows how many years and then uh, I'll try out something else but it's a good way to experiment and you guys get a feel for bits and bats as well so let's get this primed so yeah if you like that video and you want to see more videos like this just trying stuff out and uh, stuff that could be useful amongst the RC community then uh, yeah drop me a comment down below let me know and I'll uh, sure I can think of a whole bunch of all other videos I can do just other than the RC trucking but still keeping it all nice and RC related so if you like that video give it a thumbs up and thanks for you guys for subscribing and if you're not already subscribed do hit that subscription button and hit that notification bell and feel free to leave me a comment down below. I'll eventually get round to um, most of you at least anyway. So thanks again for watching guys and ciao for now.